Hi, I'm George Pearson, and I'm going to show you how to use the new Photoshop 2020 Content Aware Fill to go from this over to that. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share, and also make sure that you subscribe. I do several videos every single week, mostly on Photoshop Elements and Photoshop. I also occasionally do videos on Minecraft just for the fun of it. Okay, let's get to it. The Photoshop 2020 Content Aware Fill is a great tool for removing parts of your image like we have right here, just doing that. It's very easy to do. It also does a phenomenal job as you can see here. And in version 2020, there are a few new little twists as well, which gives you more flexibility in how you do that removal. I'll just go ahead and delete this fixed layer right there, hit the trash can and get rid of that. Now we're back to just the basic image. Now the easy way to use the Content Aware Fill is to start off by making a selection around what you want to get rid of. And let's do it right around this penguin right here. I'll be in fairly close but not really touching the edge, leaving a little bit of space around there. And we'll just work nice easy lasso around this figure. I'll include the shadow. And then up on the back side here, bring this back up around to our starting point. There's our basic selection. Now you can make the selection inside the tool. I find it's just faster to go ahead and make it before you start the tool. Okay, go up to Edit and come down right here, Content Aware Fill. Let's bring this one up. Now Photoshop is going to analyze the picture. And you can see what it's done. It's done two things here. It has made a selection or filled the selection that we made right here. And that's what it's using to remove. It also looked for any other subjects. In this case, it found these other penguins and left those penguins in. It made a protection around those penguins. Now notice the protection isn't perfect. It doesn't go clear to the edge. It doesn't need to. It still worked out just fine. And now you can change this selection here, this auto selection, if you want to. Notice that it kept in the shadows down below there. So it found the shadows on the image as well. It missed some spots in here. So let's just modify this. Up here, you have two buttons. And we're right over here. We're on the sampling brush tool up here. And you can add to the area, the overlay area, or subtract from it. Let's just go ahead and go to the Add To. And I'll clean that up right in here. Now you can adjust your brush size right here. Little slider control right there. You can adjust that brush size. And I'll just take this out just a little bit further so we get all those edges in here of our penguins. I won't worry about the shadow. I just want to get these edges in here. There we go. We'll make sure all of that is protected properly. That way it's not going to accidentally grab any of that and use that in the Content Aware Fill. Okay, that looks good. They're all now protected. And over here on the right-hand side, you can see the result on the right-hand side. Now it's rethinking down here. You can see that. It's refiguring from that little adjustment I made, and it still looks really good. Now you can kind of see in here some duplication right here, right here, and right here. We can clean that up after we get out of this tool. But this is a really easy, really nice, clean adjustment. Now, if you can't see the color well, if, let's say you had a lime green image and you couldn't see your lime green mask, you can change your color right up here. You can change the opacity over here. You can show or hide the sampling area right there if you want to. That's up to you. You also can indicate the sampling area or the excluded area. I think excluded area works out just fine. Now down below, these are the new features right here inside of version 2020 of Photoshop. The auto option is usually the best choice. It does a great job. As you can see here, that's the auto setting and it's doing a great job. If we wanted to though, we could set this at rectangular and then come in and choose a rectangle area in here. It would then copy from that rectangle area. Or we could choose a custom area and actually paint in where we want to have this drawn from. So again, we're on the whole thing being selected out. Just use the brush up here and the negative, and then you can come in and paint in what you want Photoshop to use to fill that area. Now you need to make sure you include enough that matches. So if I just do a bit over here on this side, so the left-hand side matches the basic shape of our subject, 
Let's let that Photoshop think about that and we'll see what happens on that. I think this will be okay. There it is. Now it's kind of dark up in here because we didn't give it any light stuff to work with on the right hand side. It's just dark stuff. So I come over here on this side and let's go right up against that selection in here. I'll include some of the stuff over here so I can be very specific as to where I want Photoshop to select from. Now in most cases this is not going to be important. It's going to be doing a good job for you. If it is important you can be very selective as you can see here about where you want Photoshop to grab from. And that's not too bad. Did a pretty good job. There's not as much duplication up here. That's a pretty good job. I see a lot of duplication down here though. Again most often your best choice will be to use the auto setting. Let's go ahead and let, let it do the auto setting in here. Notice that it redid, it refound the subject. If there's a problem I'll fix that. It looks like there's not going to be any problem with that. So there we go. That's okay. Now if you're using the rectangular or the custom there are more fill settings you can work with here. You can adjust your color adaptation and you can adjust rotation adaptation. You can do some scaling and mirroring as well. And these options should not be used if you're using the auto setting. Photoshop will do a good job without this on the auto but you may need to have these if you're using the rectangular or the custom setting. And then down below you can choose how you want to set this up as your output. Current layer, duplicate layer or a new layer. I recommend a new layer so that what you will get is just the patch on one layer and then the whole image underneath. That makes it easier for coming in and doing some cleanup on that. Okay everything looks good. Let's just click on all right here the OK button and there's the patch. Okay so there it is without and there it is with. You can see it's right inside that selection. Let's now deselect and see how that looks. And I think that's a pretty good match. The only thing really noticeable down here is this area right in here where there's a line here kind of meets up with this line. That's a bit noticeable and this obviously is copied from that. So we can clean this up with the standard tools. We'll just use the clone stamp tool over here. There's the clone stamp tool size. That's a pretty good size I think on this. Come down to the background layer. Hold the Alt key down to select a clone from position. Go up to your new background copy and let's just extend this out a little bit like that. So take a couple of shots to do back up here and let's copy that line down a little bit here some of the ground and just go back and forth a little bit like this and we'll just do this just to hide that, that kind of a crack or seam right there just a little bit there and we're just about good Let's come down and get just a bit right down in through here. And I'm being careful because I'm right up against the penguin you can see right there. So I got that penguin in there a bit. We can go ahead and fix that. Let's come way up here this time. And that should give us the space we need. There we go. And that looks pretty good. Maybe right down here I'll copy a little bit of this over into here just to give us some color across over which might look nice as well. I'll just grab from right here up to our copy layer and I'll put a little bit of that. There we go. Just a little bit of that color moving over into that area. And there it is. A nice clean removal or clean up here. Very easy using that new content aware fill. And as you saw there's nice artificial intelligence working in here that finds the remaining subject and masks that out for you as well. So it saves you a lot of that kind of trouble and then does a great job as you can see here to come in and do the content aware fill. We had some additional options we didn't need to use here but you know they may be handy depends upon what your picture is. So there you go that is the new Photoshop 2020 content aware fill tool.